An alloy is a mixture of two or more metals in which there's no chemical reaction taking place, therefore we don't get a new product. For example, if we look at the mineral fluorite, here we have a chemical compound that contains the metal calcite and fluorine, and obviously there's a reaction that's occurred, we've got a brand new product. But in an alloy, we mix the things together physically without making a brand new substance. Now why do we do that? Well, there's lots of metals, each one has its specific properties, but when we mix them together, we get something that's brand new. For example, iron rusts very badly, and so you don't use pure iron very often, but we mix other metals with it to get steel. Now if we look at the element nickel, let's examine some examples here of how alloys form and what they're used for. Nickel on the periodic table is in what we call the transition metal group and it's alloyed with a number of other metals to make specific products and we'll look briefly here at just four of them. The first alloy is called alnico, A-L-N-I-C-O, which stands for aluminum, nickel, and cobalt. Alnico is used to make very powerful magnets and if you take those three elements, put them together with some iron, you get a material that can be made into a very strong permanent magnet. It's one of the cheapest ways to get strong magnets without going to what we call transition metal elements. A second alloy is called permalloy, which is about 80% nickel and about 20% iron. And permalloy is used to make electromagnets, which are magnets that are only active when we have electricity applied, and then you can start and stop them. A third type is called nichrome. It's the uh, term comes from nickel, Ni, and chromium, Cr. It's about 80% nickel, about 20% chromium. It's used to make heating elements. So if you have a hair dryer or a toaster and you look at it, you'll see coils of wire in there that heat when the electricity goes through them, and that's going to be what's in there. And then finally, there's a material called monel metal, M-O-N-E-L, which is about two-thirds nickel with also some copper and iron present. It's used to make a metal that's very resistant to corrosion for applications where you're going to have the possibility of corrosion taking place.